afternoon, everybody. As a 1973 cum laude graduate of the Peabody Heights Head Start, I <laughs> cum laude graduate. <laughs> Somebody can tell Chantel what I said. That. I, um, I had the honor of introducing this man last year, and I was so glad um, when Sister Charlene Mumford, and in the spirit of how uh, the women in this church historically bring people and get them involved, they simply yeah. tell you, this is what you're doing. <laughs> and you come, and you do it. But our speaker came a long ways to be with us. He came from Glenellen, Illinois, which is a suburb west of Chicago. But make no mistake about it, he grew up right here. This is, this is home for him. Uh, our speaker is the son of Jake and Cleo Birch Holmes, uh, two people who I affectionately call Grandpa Jake and Mimi. So he is my uncle, and I've known him all my life. Now, when I say um, I'm very honored, he is a very articulate and dynamic speaker, and you will see this. And since he grew up in this church, we all know where he got his public speaking experience from, right? Yeah. 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 Standing right here, telling people what you learned in Sunday school. That's where he made his public speaking debut. And then, of course, every Easter with his Easter speech. All right. Mm -hmm. So we are definitely in for all a treat. Right. Right. Um, my Uncle Cleve enrolled into uh, Stillman College after he graduated from, from Peabody High School. And uh, he was a very good student, an excellent student. He made good grades. He did all his homework. He went to his classes. And with the exception of one quarter, and we all have them, we lose our way. We become rebellious. So for one quarter, it happened to him. And he joined the Steelman chapter will make us our five fraternity. <laughs> but he found his way. And in 1960, he graduated from Steelman College. Thank the Lord. Three years after he graduated, though, he definitely hit the jackpot. I mean, he hit the jackpot big when he met and married Bobby Jean White, right. one of the most beautiful women you would ever want to meet. And they were married for 48 years, 48 years until she went on to be with the Lord back in 2011. One of the things that um, he's very, very proud of are his two children, Barry, who is married to Toby, Katrina, who is married to Marvin, and Katrina and Marvin have two beautiful young baby girls who adore their grandfather, and he spends most of his time doing on them now. Uh, in 1967, though, uh, my Uncle Cleve moved to the Chicago area to attend the University of Illinois, pursuing his master's degree. And uh, I was talking about this last year, like, how do you go from Eastman, Georgia, to Chicago, Illinois, in 1967? And he told me about the fact that the First Presbyterian Church here, the White Presbyterian Church. The one they, I couldn't attend. <laughs> <laughs> a church he could not attend. But God used that church to bless him, and that church paid for his master's degree. So imagine that. A church he couldn't attend ended up, ended up funding his, his master's degree in science from the University of Illinois. So Uncle Cleve went on to become uh, a wonderful teacher. Uh, he's a retired teacher, at, uh, a high school teacher. He's a very successful retired professor um, of college at the College of DuPage. And uh, so now he's just chilling. He's going around the country speaking at church anniversaries. <laughs> 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 He's a member of the First Presbyterian Church in Glen Ellen, and, uh, and he is in the choir there. And um, speaking of the choir, you know, since he grew up in this church, right, we all know where he got his choir experience from, right? Right back here? No auditions needed, you know, because it was a requirement. Why would you audition for something that you're required to do? But it's one of the beautiful things about growing up into this church, and I know it's an honor for him to come back 
um, and to bring some words of encouragement to all of us because it's almost impossible to be here in this church and not remember the Christmas plays and the Easter plays and not remember uh, being baptized with the water that mm -hmm. Re Reverend Edwards prayed from right out of here or Reverend right. Edwards, or Reverend Sharp, or Reverend Steele, or Reverend Wilson, mm -hmm. now Reverend Monkford. It's just impossible to come and not be flooded with these memories. So I want you all to stand up and give a round welcome of applause for my uncle Cleveland Holmes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 